So this is me doing my thing out in Seabeck, Washington. And yeah, we're just, uh, I was diving out here on a Saturday with uh, my friend Nicole Boley, who's got an amazing uh, photography. She, she's way better at uh, videography and photography than I am. Anyhow, so yeah, this was uh, just running out from uh, a location trying to find um, an, an old uh, reef site. And yeah, enjoy. This is just uh, some goofing off time and trying to play around with this um, ape man camera as well as the, the GoPro cameras that I got. And I'm still learning. I'm still playing around with these settings and whatnot. And I've got a lot more to learn, but you know, it's a little bit of green. I need to eventually get a filter lens for this uh, camera. But I'm just kind of running out and it's uh, out of. 200 300 yard swim at this point so you know just doing the thing and pretty pretty uh mild current on this particular day and uh yeah just enjoy have a good one and please like subscribe and uh, share with your friends if you like take care have a good one bye
So right about here is where I managed to see that. That right there is sea anemones. So as you can see, as you get closer, it's really bright. The white, you know, really gives it away. But uh, yeah, here we are. This is where I was trying to find. I got lost. <laughs> so yeah, I just love the aquatic life here and how everything is just kind of taken over. This is, oh, there's some, hello, Lincoln. I don't like you. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, love rockfish. Sea, you know, sea bass. Yeah, we're here. Found it. <laughs> so this is the shallower end of the area. I'm just stoked that I finally got there. And Yep. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, there's that little guy. That head, I swear. When I was underwater, it looked like that head was bigger than my fist. Um, really big. But, yeah, just hanging out in the pipe, doing this thing. Or everything. I you know, who knows what the gender of a fish is? I don't know. I'm not that smart. <laughs> Anyhow. Yeah, a lot of fish, a lot of sea anemones, a lot of life, just all around. And yep, just uh, taking a breather, just relaxing because it was a bit of a swim. But yeah, here you go. Enjoy. So I was trying to capture at this moment, uh, you see these seaweeds here this is macroalgae and if you look really closely you can see all of the various species on this rock that have adhered to the biofilm that now it's it's grafted to this rock and yeah as you can tell it takes over pretty easily over, over time so that was what I was trying to capture there more sea lemon more other stuff uh, this, the particulate in the water you see there that's all sorts of Zooplankton, phytoplankton, all sorts of stuff. Oh, little greenling there. Little being shy. You know, all sorts of species. I don't, I'm not really familiar with that particular species. Is right. That little guy looks to... I'm not sure. I'm really not sure about what that is right there. I want to pretend it's like a baby lingcod, but I'm not really sure. I'm not, a, I'm not a certified marine biologist by any means. I'm just a goofball. So, anyhow, yeah, you got all this stuff here. And hello, yeah, the, the rockfish are very curious. If you if you just sit there for a while, see the black one just came right by. Um, <clears throat> they just kind of hang out, and I'm just sitting there. Literally, I'm I'm on my fins, on bottom, just slowly breathing and relaxing, and they get acclimated to you, and they get kind of curious because I'm blowing bubbles and they're not. <laughs> Kind of a weird, uh, weird thing seeing some weirdo blowing bubbles, and they're just chilling out, going, "Why are you here? <laughs> what are you doing?" They, yeah, you see, they just effortlessly just swim their their fins and just kind of hover around. And the cool thing about uh, some of these species of fish, like like rockfish, do they have an air bladder inside of them? So they can kind of control their buoyancy with their their lungs and stuff, and their you know their fish physiology is something I'm slowly learning about, and just how they move. I mean, you see how well he turns and and the the undulation of his of his uh, dorsal fin there. All of those you know, take, I mean, you don't even understand like how much control every single one of those fins. Like every single bit of those bones, they they actually manipulate their entire body to to f swim, and every part of those muscles. I mean, it's just instinctive. Every single synapsis in their body, yeah, like just effortless, <laughs> swimming like fish. <sighs> jealous, so jealous. <laughs> they made it look so easy because they're fish. 
I mean, I'm just a silly human being with thin envy. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, got a couple more minutes left here. Just blowing bubbles and trying to watch. And yeah, you know, I'm just surrounded by all sorts of fish here. It's a beautiful spot out here in uh, Seabeck, Washington. So, yeah, really awesome folks, really awesome fish. And yeah, really awesome life. So, thank you. Please, uh, please don't forget hit the subscribe button if you don't mind. <laughs> Take care and uh, have a good one. Cheers.